wonderful world of Disney. Gentlemen, we proudly present Disney on Parade. And here to greet you are all your friends from the wonderful world of Disney. children. Thank you. 
show, the one and only Mickey Mouse. yourself the star of the show? A mouse with no magic. You can never be a star without the help of Merlin the Magnificent. Now, I shall pass on to you some of my simpler secrets of magic. But first, I shall make you reappear. Alakabimbo! <laughs> Reach into your pocket, Mickey. Now that's magic dust. again, but this time we will use larger cages. tells more eloquently of dreams come true than Cinderella. Cinderella lived with her two ugly stepsisters and cruel stepmother, who made her slave like a scullery maid from dawn to dusk. One day, the prince summoned every eligible maiden in the kingdom to a ball at the palace. The stepmother and sisters were furious to learn that the royal invitation included Cinderella. But on the night of the ball, the spiteful stepsisters made very sure that Cinderella would be left behind. What they didn't know was that Cinderella had a fairy godmother. Cinderella's rags were transformed into a shimmering, twinkling ball gown. Then the fairy godmother sent her off to the ball with a stern warning. 
everything would return to normal precisely at midnight. Sonia Olewski, daughter of Grand Duke and Duchess Olewski. His Royal Highness, Prince Otto August Ferdinand, heir apparent to the throne. Mademoiselles Drizella and Anastasia Tremaine, daughters of Lady Tremaine. a royal proclamation. Every maiden in the kingdom must try on the glass slipper, and whomever the slipper fit, she would be the prince's bride. The Grand Duke was sent to try the slipper on all maidens throughout the kingdom. For a long time, his search was in vain. He tried it on the stepsisters, but it didn't fit. It was Cinderella's turn.
jungle is at peace. Nothing disturbs its tranquility. The jaguar prowls silently. The ancient temples bask in the silent and steamy sunlight. Yes, the jungle is very, very quiet.
story of Alice began peacefully enough, but it soon plunged her into the wildest adventure you could ever imagine. It all started when Alice encountered a white rabbit who carried an oversized watch and was always in a frightful hurry. Now, Alice had never met a white rabbit before, at least none like this, and she was determined to follow him. Thank you. 
Fritz. Believe me, it was unintentional. I was unprepared to pour for such an unorganized tea party. The spinning spoons, crazy cubes, unstable table, and just...
Trouble and you don't know what to do. Give a little whistle. Give a little whistle. And always let your conscience be your guide. itself to bring you these horrendous headliners in person. Now that's evil! Bye, darlings. Gentlemen, highlights from Walt Disney's unforgettable Fantasia.
magic mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? Lips red as the rose, hair black as ebony, skin white as snow. Snow white. Yeah! <laughs> 